I uh, took a cab from the airport to uh, 8217 Lookout Mountain, which is where Joni's house was. And I heard uh, people talking in John's house. Kind of upsetting for a while, because I, I just wanted to be with John. But it was David and Stephen, and they had uh, been eating dinner with Johnny. And we smoked a big one, and Crosby said to Stephen, uh, play Willie, that song we were just doing. They played You Don't Have to Cry, which was on the first Crosby, Stills and Nash record. And they got to the end of it, and I said, wow. Well, first of all, it's an incredible song. That's, that's a great song, Stephen. That's really great. I mean, listen to it. It is. It's a beautiful song. I said, um, sing it again for me. They looked at each other and they shrugged and sang it again. And they got to the end of that uh, second time and I said, okay, I think I got it. And they sang it that third time and I sang my harmony. We got about a minute into it and we had to stop and start laughing because it, it was silly. It was, uh, I mean, we're, we're all pretty big fans of harmony, and we've heard a lot in our lives, but this was something different. When David and Stephen and I sing well together, it's something else. So that was the very first night, and Joni Mitchell was the only witness to the birth of Crosby, Stills and Nash. Stephen has a different story. He thinks, it's a di he thinks it was in Cass's kitchen. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.